Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to the Grot Cave of the Three Bears here in uh, some uh, village in France that I can't even pronounce the name of. So we're going to be exploring uh, this uh, cave today and I'm going to be showing you this place where I think if you were to have an accident, you would definitely die, that is my opinion. It's what I'm calling uh, the pit of a certain death. Now, I just want to give a quick shout out to my uh, friend, Christopher Sox, because uh, coming into this place, it really reminds me of this video game we used to play. I think it was called uh, The Island, where you're stranded on this island uh, because of a, a plane crash. And it's a survival game and uh, there were lots of uh, mutants that were hiding in caves and they'd come out and they'd uh, try and attack you and uh, we had a really good laugh playing that I remember back in uh, summer of 2018 spent many hours playing it so definitely uh, this place uh, reminds me a lot of that so in we go oh yeah there's a uh, something here yeah this uh, battery obviously somebody that was here a long time ago just uh, completely corroded away so what happens if you uh, leave batteries uh, behind in uh, places like this. So we're going to be going to a place where I consider to be extremely dangerous. Just to show you. Just through one of these uh, rooms in here. Yeah, it's a really big pit. And it just seems to go uh, straight down to me. Uh, I'm not really sure uh, what's at the bottom, but I uh, definitely wouldn't go falling down there. Uh, the equipment I'm using, this is a headlamp which uh, I actually use as a trail light for my uh, mountain bike but it comes with a harness and I also have this uh, smaller torch as well which is a, a mini mag light which is extremely powerful to I think 350 lumens it takes uh, two AA batteries uh, the batteries don't last very long they only last about uh, two hours but it really is extremely powerful and it's very very good to have as a backup torch uh, in a situation uh, like this uh, I've left some uh, stuff at the entrance to the cave, so if anything did happen to me while I'm in here, uh, people would know I'm here. And if you fell down this pit I'm going to show you, well, it might not make much difference, quite honestly. Okay, let's go. So this is just one of the narrowest parts, it's not really that narrow, quite honestly. We do see some uh, fabulous things in here. Some really amazing uh, rock formations. So this is uh, one of the biggest uh, caverns of the cave. As you can see, it's really, uh, really enormous. You can see those uh, stalactites forming on the ceiling there. I know those are stalactites because um, stalagmites so grow from the floor. Stalactites are called stalactites because they're hanging on the ceiling and they're holding on tight. Wow, just look at that up there. Incredible. I'm not a geologist, but I will say that there really is some uh, amazing uh, rock formations in this place, that's for sure. Okay, so that's another way in and out. You can, uh, you can go up there and it, uh, it brings you out to the surface, but somebody seems to have tried to have uh, blocked it off. I don't know why. Uh, I did see something on one of the walls. There's something about somebody dying in here in uh, 1995, but I'm not sure if it's uh, actually true or not. But I'll just show you that if you want. I think it's just through here. There's another room through here. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it's down the back here. Yeah, so it looks like they've, somebody's tried to draw a, a gravestone. It says something on it about some people dying in 1995. But. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I think if someone died in here, they probably would have blocked it off. Yeah, here we go, look. Yeah, it's here. Stephanie Elodie and Sabatia, I put it. Why well, am I talking in French? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I mix French and English. Okay. Yeah, it certainly looks like they're trying to draw some kind of uh, tombstone, but yeah, that's a long time ago. How many years is that? 26 years ago. Wow, that's scary. But yeah, it could just be kids just writing trash. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go up here anyway, and let's, uh, let's go to the, the craziest part of the cave, I think. The really dangerous part.
By the way, in terms of footwear, what I'm wearing, my feet are just some uh, mountain bike boots. They're very good for this kind of thing. You probably see there, they've got some really good uh, tread on them. So they're good for making sure that you don't, uh, you don't slip. They've saved my ass many a times, uh, these uh, mountain bike shoes. Okay, so let's head down here then. Let's get a bit more light. Here we go, put the mini mag light on. I don't work for mag light, by the way. It's not a plug for mag light. But it's just a really cool uh, little torch. I just can't believe uh, the power for the, the size of it. The headlamp, at this uh, brightness, it probably has around no, maybe two and a half hours of uh, this kind of brightness. You can put it on three different settings. That one's a strobe. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, let's just turn all the lights off just for a bit of fun. Okay, so this is uh, setting one, setting two, and uh, setting three. Okay. Right. I'm trying to remember where I've got to go here, actually. Uh, yeah, there's another room. It's got a massive pit. Uh, can't remember where it is. Okay, I think it's. I think it must be here. Perhaps that's why you got the red paint on the wall there, because it's uh, marked as dangerous. It wouldn't surprise me. Is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show it you. Uh, I'm not going to speculate about it. Yeah. Perhaps that's why you got the red paint there, warning people not to go in here. Okay, well. I'm going in, but with extreme caution. Okay, so that you can see ahead of you is, uh, I think what I'm talking about, I'm just going to tighten up the harness a bit. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm calling uh, the pit of death, because I think if you fell down there, I'm sorry, but I don't think there's much hope for you really, I think you're going to die, because you're going to break multiple bones, there's no help coming. I've not seen anybody else up here today on this path. So I think if you fell down there, yeah, I think it's all over to be honest. I can't even see the bottom and I don't really dare get uh, too much closer. Not as I'm scared of heights, it's not like I don't want to lose the camera, I've already dropped it once today. <laughs> I just don't want to break my camera. I don't care about me, I just don't want to break my camera. Yeah, this is about as close to the edge as I can actually get. And perhaps if I just drop down into here, I could perhaps get a bit of a better view. Uh, maybe try throwing a rock down or something, see if we can hear when it hits the bottom. I can't even see any points on the ceiling where you could uh, attach a rope. Yeah. yeah, if I just stand in here, and I think I'm safe enough here. Okay, I think I can just about see the bottom now. Yeah really see it that well but yeah that's about as far as I could possibly get to it. It's actually a really good place here to wedge yourself and uh, not fall in. So yeah it's a pretty dangerous part of the cave. I, mean, I would have thought there'd be uh, maybe somewhere where you could fix a harness. Some... Now perhaps there look, you know look somebody's uh, somebody's been down there with a rope. You can see it there look, some steel and fixed into the rock face. I mean, look at that up there, it's so cool, isn't it? I mean, just look at that, it's just amazing. Can't believe that. How many millions of years do you think it took for this to uh, become the way it was? Really uh, amazing stuff, I think. I'm just going to see if I can climb up there, actually. I've never been up there. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm not really worried. I wouldn't normally be worried about this being slippy, but bearing in mind what I've got behind me, I've been pretty careful. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Hey, that's a monolith there. Look at that. Perhaps, uh, perhaps aliens put that there. It's an alien monolith, look. Yeah, I don't think I can get up here. I'm, I'm not going to take the risk. It's, it's not even worth it for one second, quite honestly. It'd be stupid. Uh, I could just crawl up there, I guess. Could I crawl up there? Uh, yeah, I think I can. I'm going to put this torch in my pocket, though, so I can use both my hands. Okay, I'm going to crawl up here. 
and I'm not going to fall into that giant pit, don't worry. Yeah, I could be like some kind of found footage horror film, couldn't I? Maybe somebody could find me in uh, 30 years' time and they'd find my uh, camera and they could make a horror film out of it. Okay. Yeah, I did actually leave some stuff at the edge of the cave though, so if I didn't come back out, I don't think anyone would... Uh, I think someone would investigate. They'd realise there was uh, something going on here. Yeah, I've seen a few bats in here. I've seen a few bats flying around. I don't know if uh, that's the kind of place where they would uh, live, but there's definitely some bats in there. I've seen them. Okay. So, yeah, so this is the big, uh, the big cavern again, I think. All right, so I'm going to get out down this way, so I don't have to, I don't have to go back that way and uh, risk my life, which is uh, always a good thing. And there might be some uh, people watching this video that really hate me and would want me to die, but uh, honestly, I'm not that bad. I'm really not. But yeah, I'm going to try not to die. <laughs> not today, anyway, maybe tomorrow. Okay, I'm down. Sorry for the language, in case there's any kids watching this. Sorry for the language, I forgot there. Okay. Yeah, I know where I am. So we're back, um, back where I was before, where the red paint is. Okay, so I'm going to start heading on out now. Now that I've uh, shown you all of that. And in English as well. There can't be too many English guides of these uh, caves here in uh, France. I've got, my, uh, I've got my water here in case I get thirsty. I'm just going to have a drink. So if you get lost, look, you can... Uh, follow uh, the green arrows. Oh yeah, I wanted to uh, mention this as well. And this is just incredible. And look at, uh, look at the colours here. I just think that's fantastic. I just can't believe that. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Wow. Okay, let's, uh, let's make a move. Let's get out of here. Back to the entrance. I actually rode up here on my mountain bike, but I had to dump it. <laughs> leave it uh, on the trail because it was just uh, unridable. The access to here is uh, not the best. It's about the only bad thing about this cave. It's not too easy to get to. It's pretty high up in the mountain. I'll show you when I get out the view from here because it's uh, pretty magnificent. Another uh, green arrow in case you're ever in any doubt of where to go. Okay, okay let's go. <sighs> Fortunately, I do have a knee problem, but as long as I don't put my weight on it, I'm okay. It's just my backpack getting on that rock above. Okay, keep going. Uh, anything down here? I don't think so, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's just a dead end from what I remember. Yeah. There is actually a map of this cave. A map online, so you can uh, check that out. No, I'm not sure, but can I hear some voices? Yeah, wow. Hey. Huh. Bonjour. Oh. Pardon? <laughs> uh, il a un peu de risque, oui. Euh, euh, je ne sais pas comment vous expliquer. Il a une place, une chambre avec une euh, chute euh, très, très euh, dangereuse. Mais euh, ici, euh, c'est pas trop mal. Oui, oui, ici, ça va. Euh, mais si euh, vous voyez un mur avec euh, beaucoup de peinture rouge, euh, n'allez pas parce que c'est la place dangereuse. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think my French was okay there, but uh, not too great. Yeah. Hey, bonjour. Okay. 
Okay, so here I am outside of the cave, and as you can see, there really is a fantastic uh, view from here. Just going to have a little walk around, and uh, because there's another entrance to the cave uh, just up here, I can show you. It's a bit difficult to uh, walk, and this is uh, only one hand, but I'll do my best. This is the other end. This is the one they bricked off. Some kind of uh, devil worshipping going on. <laughs> I don't know. There's some crazy people around. But yeah, so that was the cave of the uh, three bears. That's cut it a bit short there because we had some uh, people turn up. Which would have been good if I'd have fallen because then uh, maybe they would have uh, got me some help. There's then people I've seen uh, all morning. They've been up here for several hours. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the bike. I'm going to uh, head uh, head down out of here, and I'll well, we'll talk to you again very shortly.